I haven't watched TV regularly in five years, but occasionally when I'm at a hotel that has cable, I'll switch on the TV to see how it's changed. And God. Every time, I forget how awful the advertising is. It really feels like 15 minutes of show and 10 minutes of ads. I can't believe I used to sit through the same loathsome collection of obnoxious, repetitive, try-hard skits for that long. It should be illegal to subject the population to so much audio-visual torture. But when the shows do come on, there's also a sick enjoyment I feel. A kind of guilty pleasure in how completely I can surrender myself to just sitting there, doing nothing. Just like finding a good series on YouTube or a live stream I happen to catch at the right time, I enter a state of complacency, as close to not thinking as possible. Here, everything is a flat imitation of life, and it just feels better this way. While great chunks of my experience on the internet has been an imitation of interaction, I've been able to actually interact with other people both in real life and through chat rooms. There was always that potential for social interaction through the technology itself that television has never had, and I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the opportunities that this tool has given me. But the internet can never be a replacement for social interaction. It can never be a replacement for this fundamental aspect of existence. Meeting someone in person, speaking with them face to face, and getting involved with their life. So let me ask you again, is the internet just television? What else are you really doing besides just sitting there, consuming? For people who don't have the resources or the means to have any other kinds of relationships, don't let me discourage you. The world is a brutal place. But for those who do, I know this might be coming off as cliche, or God forbid me sounding like a boomer, but you need to get off your ass and go outside, for your own sake. When you are alone, with few people to interrupt your life, to make you do things, you end up in these cycles. When I find myself crossing these oceans of isolation for a few months in a row, the days just all start to melt into one another. I fall into these routines and I'm sitting there living the same day over and over again. It's a rigid structure without meaning, repetition without rhythm. The cycle just continues, and all you want to do is break it. But the cycle has so much momentum. You push and pull, but you just can't break it. A long time ago, the internet used to be a brief escape from this cycle. More and more nowadays, people seem trapped in it. Maybe you haven't noticed, but people haven't been very happy on the internet recently. The news is constantly full of heartbreaking stories. Every aspect of our society is constantly being deconstructed and criticized. Technology seems to be hindering us more than helping us, and the state of the media we used to consume for escapism is now crumbling before our very eyes and cannot restrain itself from badgering us with the most ham-fisted social messages I have ever seen. And my god, the endless war of the sexes is just miserable. How many times do I have to see posts about what's wrong with men, what's wrong with women, he cheated, she cheated, why, why are, are women, women like, like this? this? 